Welcome everybody. It's been a while, but I'm back. Pitmaster Brewski is in the back. About ready to fire up the boss. And we're not making any meat or anything fancy like that. We're gonna really take a chance. And I just wanted to been, been wanting to try this for a long time. So sh let me show you what we're gonna be doing. Right there, everybody. We're gonna be making smoked brownies. I got my friend here, Coors. He's gonna be helping me out today. We got my ingredients. That's on the box, eggs. We got oil, water, and oh yeah, another beer. But yeah, we're gonna be making it on the old pit boss over here. Which we gotta get opened up and fired up. We're gonna be cooking with a fruit blend pellet to maybe add a little extra uh, fruitiness to it. We're gonna be starting our smoke out at on a P4 setting, a P5 setting, and I'm gonna start it out at like 200 degrees, and we're gonna bake it, or just kinda get a good, good dose of smoke in there. So we can get a good dose of smoke in there, and then after that, we we're gonna turn it up to about 300 to finish it off. So sit back, and let's get ready to rock. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get all the ingredients put in the bowl, mixed up, and then we're gonna pour it in the pan, and then we're gonna get it on the smoker. So I'll be catch you back here in a few minutes. All right, we got the batter mixed up. I got a little bit of grease on the bottom of this. Not grease, but oil, just so it doesn't stick so bad. And I got the pit boss warming up at 200 degrees. And then as it's cooking, I'm gonna stir it a little bit every once in a while. I'm gonna cook it on, I'm gonna smoke it for about a half an hour or so on just 200 and every once every five, 10, maybe 10 minutes, I'm gonna go in and stir the batter so the smoke can really soak in. So then that, after that, we get to past that point, I am going to crank it up to 300 so we can finish them off until they turn into actual brownies. So here we go. I'm gonna dump this in here and we're gonna get ready to, for, to put it on the pit boss. So don't go anywhere. Okay, we back. So for the record, I changed my mind on the settings. I got mine set at a P4 and on, and on just smoke. Okay, I, I just wanna get as much smoke into them brownies as I possibly can. So my plan is to, every 15 minutes, I'm gonna open the lid up and stir this batter a little bit, just kinda work it in because as as this, as this warms up it's going to make a crust and then the smoke can't penetrate it so if you can not keep moving it around a little bit it'll add more of the smoke flavor so i'm going to get these babies on now and then we'll go from there okay they're on the smoker i got them on the left side not the right side because the stack's right there and i feel like it's warmer over there so i got them on over here so yeah We'll, catch, we'll come back here in about 15 minutes and check on them. All right, welcome back. It's 15 minutes, so we're gonna open the lid up and give it a stir. Oh yeah. See, see that kind of a little bit of crust on there. You can see what's happening there. You know, loosen that back up. Get a little, little stir here. Right, we back. Oops, I forgot my, my handy dandy spoon. We're gonna stir it one more time. If it allows us to. Oh yeah, see a little crust on there again. Stir that up. Nice and loosened up again. We're gonna let it go for another 15 minutes. And the next time I'm not gonna open the lid up. We're gonna stir it. Well, I'm gonna stir it. And then we're gonna turn the temperature up to 300. So I'll catch you back here when I turn up to 300. All right? All right, what's up? We back. 
You know, trust me, I've had a f- couple of these bad boys, but we're at the point to where now we're going to raise the temperature up to, to 300 degrees, you know. So I'll switch the video around and head on over there. Okie dokie, here we go. Actually, right now I was doing a, I don't know if you can see that, but I was just doing a smoke cycle, but we're not going to wait for that because I want to get these done. It's going to get dark pretty soon, so. All right, here we go. Two, 300 di- degrees right there. Let's see what he looked like quick. Oh man, does that look amazing? And I'm really hoping it has a good smoke flavor. I'm not sure. I'm hoping it, hoping this turns out. I don't know. It's the first time trying this, so we're gonna let her let uh, the pit boss do his job. So here we go. Just catch it back here in a few minutes. All right, people. As you can tell, yes, it is dark out. Time caught up with me, but these barnies should be about done. We're gonna check them out. Look at that. Don't they look amazing? We're gonna do the good old toothpick test. And you can see there's a little bit on there, but Alan has pretty good, I think. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna turn the smoker off. gonna take this in the house and we're gonna cool off and then we're gonna finish the video we're gonna and then on top of this I got a treat that I'm gonna show you so bear with me and I'll see you guys in the house oh hello there welcome to my in my house it, it's dark outside so I had to finish it up in here so Brownies are pretty much cooled off, so we're gonna add the finishing touches and we're gonna sample it. So let's switch the camera around and get to it. All right, here they are. This is the finishing. This is what ended up being. So what we're gonna do is add a little treat to the top of this right here. Hershey's syrup, caramel. Right here, caramel flavor. We're gonna squirt some of this on top. Oh yeah. Like so. Our nice piece right there is what we're gonna sample. So let's do it. Sample time. Mm. Very good. This is a slight hint of smoke flavor. Not tremendous, but just a little bit, not much. But they're really good burners, I have to say. So give it a try. And don't forget to like and subscribe so we can do some more crazy shit like this. Okay. Till next video. No Pitmaster Ruski is out. Bye bye. <laughs>